Boxing King Media in association with Boxer Nisa Saland, who's just played a huge prank on me. Uh, just confirming you and Calais are not father and son. Not going to confirm either way. No, 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 no. He's, uh, he's my brother. He's two years older than me. I thought it'd be good to start with that because I actually nearly I was, fell for that. I was pissed off because he said who's older. So I said, no, he's my dad. Um, and I'm glad you believed it. I didn't believe it. I just kind of thought, shit, I haven't, how did I not know that? Um, let's get straight into it, uh, Nisa. A huge fight for you guys. I think your brother said in, in the presser that he feels it's the biggest British fight this year. It's quite a fair argument. What, what would be the second one? Oh, I mean, Eubank, Eubank Williams is a big one, wasn't it? Uh, but English, <laughs> is definitely. I think it's definitely the biggest, if I'm not forgetting something. Yeah, I think you're probably about right. I can't think of any other fights we're towards the end of the year, but what a huge fight it is. Chisora Fury, but on free to air, <laughs> definitely the biggest. It sure is. Obviously, you mentioned the numbers last week, 1.8 million tuned in for Harlem Eubank. The crowd this Friday, and obviously it's, it's more of a 50-50 fight uh, when Harlem on paper potentially wasn't. The numbers could be ridiculous. You might potentially break all records. What, what is the record? I have no idea what the record is, but I'd say 2 million plus. Uh, Harlem had 1.88 million, 1.88, so 1.9 if you round it up. Um, look, I expect it to do very good numbers, um, but also it's a, it's a, it's a bloody good uh, fight for free-to-air. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's really delivering for the fans. Because obviously budgets play a massive part, ticket sales, because obviously people have kind of been critical of some of the cards in Channel 5, you know, the early ones that you guys have put on where they've been early knockouts, but to put something like this on, two guys in the prime fighting each other in a full-on 50-50, it don't come cheap, does it? No, it doesn't come cheap, but uh, neither do, uh, you know, the, the bigger stars in the, in the game. You know, like if you look at... Um, the guys that have fought on um, Channel 5 this year. Uh, you know, you've, you've had Josh Kelly, Nathan Gorman. Uh, you had Linus Udofi against Denzel Bentley. Um, you know, you've had... Uh, and, and you've got Harlem Eubank, who's, who's going to be a major player next year. He definitely is. Just talking about the fight, I mentioned this to your brother earlier. The opposition, obviously, Troy Zad, he's got four really good wins against British opponents. Uh, one of the underrated wins he's got is um, Harry Scoff, a very good fighter, skillful, similar skill set to Josh Kelly. Obviously, he beat him in a close points decision. And obviously, Josh's two step-ups have been two losses. How critical is that in this fight? Um, yeah, I mean, horrible Harry Scoff. Uh, he's, he's a welterweight now. He's gone back down. Um, and I think Williamson is a, is a very big uh, light middleweight. Um, yeah, look, I think Josh's only only loss was against uh, Avanesian, who's a world class operator. No one wanted to fight him here, and he's gone off to, to fight Terence Crawford. So, yeah, there's no there's no shame in losing against a guy like that. And um, as I said, as I said before, I think he's addressed a lot of the major issues he's had. People like to talk about mental health these days, and you know, he actually st sat there at the podium first first press conference and said, yeah, I had mental health problems, couldn't sleep, had to ha actually have a drink of alcohol to, to put myself to sleep. I was, you know, he was getting anxious about getting sick, etc., etc. Sorry, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> One minute. <coughs> I'm not Bless sick. you. I'm not getting sick, don't worry. Um, I had my vitamin drip the other day, I feel great. Um, so um, I think he's addressed a lot of those demons that Josh has had. And... If that is the case, I think that's the only thing going against Josh is, is his head. Um, he's got all the skills, all the, all the qualities to do it on, on, on Friday night. Troy obviously brought that up in the press conference as well. He said, you know, I've got something that you haven't and it's something that you can't train for. Um, do, do you think, obviously, it's a bit... Adam Boots obviously knows Josh very well, so he wouldn't put him in a fight like this if he didn't feel he was ready for it. Yeah, no, 100%. Um, and I, and I think they're bang up for this fight. Um, I heard he's been doing very good in sparring as well. Um, well I'm not saying it's, a, it's, it's an easy fight for Josh. It's not an easy fight for anyone. It's a 50-50 fight. Um, I'm obviously, you know, going to back my guy um, as, as best as I can. And um, I, I, I think Josh will win. Definitely. It's actually a really good card as well. You've obviously got the two heavyweights rematching. Everyone loves the uh, two undefeated heavyweights fighting each other. And you've obviously got... Um... Oh, fuck. 
head's gone. Oh, fuck like, heavy, like everywhere, it's com brain's completely gone. <laughs> Lyndon Arthur. Lyndon Arthur, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lyndon. So you've got Lyndon in a really good fight as well. So with regards to Channel 5 viewership, sometimes I know you've been a bit struggling to get all the fights. And How many of the fights are going to be on live? Uh, you'll have three fights on live. So it'll be uh, Lind uh, Lyndon Arthur, uh, the uh, McIntyre. Um, you'll have Troy um, against Josh. And you'll have the two big boys, Hosea, against Franklin Ignatia. Ignatius. 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 Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, well, I called him Ignatius. 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 He's Ignatius because I called him uh, Francis. It's actually Franklin, it's isn't Franklin. it? Yeah, yeah. So I'm having a right day. Um, that's quite big, that, because obviously I was wondering how many of the fights would actually be on Channel 5. Have you guys had to like speak to them about that to make sure that that happens? Because normally they don't, do they? No, I mean, uh, Harlem Eubank, we had uh, three fights on. Um, I think I think that's you know you understand it's a it's a terrestrial channel you can't just put like five hours of boxing on uh, <laughs> which, is, which is obviously a shame for us boxing fans uh, but I think you know two two and a half hours is uh, it's brilliant it's just right it's just right for, to keep people engaged as well um, you know look I I'm there from five thirty watching every bloody fight but. You know, a lot of casuals who watch Channel 5, they're not going to be watching the five hours of, of cards. So two hours, the best fights are on there. Um, not, to, not to forget our heavyweight prospect as well, who'll be on the, uh, on the feed, on uh, bo uh, Boxing Social feed, um, Matty Harris. Very good prospect. Got Ben Marks to be as well from uh, Steve Wood. Very, very talented local boy. Sold a shed load of tickets. It's going to be a great atmosphere. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, just moving on, a couple of other subjects I want to speak to you about, Nisa. Uh, one of the things I've noticed is you guys might be the only promoters in the UK that this year worked with every other promoter consistently than the other ones. Would I be right? Have you done anything with Frank Warren? Um, well, we, we won the piss, purse bid for um, bum, 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 for uh, Bentley against uh, Linus. So, so you've worked with everyone? Uh, we'd we work with Frank, and no problem. I get on with Francis very well, and George, you know, we've got no problem. Um, yeah, we work with everyone, and that's 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 the way to get your fight at the best money. Why are you guys able to work with everyone, and then obviously you see from the other promotional outfits uh, that there's reluctancy to work with each other? Um, I, you got to ask them that. <laughs> that's not a question for me. I, I, I work with anyone. Secret in working with someone? No, I just think you know you need to be open-minded. You don't, you shouldn't be too greedy, and 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 you also want what's best for boxing. Definitely. And Chris Eubank uh, Jr. revealed uh, yesterday, apparently he didn't know about the August failed test. Uh, and obviously, from my understanding, from reading about everything, the board should have notified all parties involved. Do you know why he wasn't told about it? We weren't told about it either, so I don't know why he wasn't told about it. We weren't told about it until um, the week of the fight. Should you guys have been told about the August failed test? Because that was a WBC test, wasn't it? If I'm honest, I have no idea. I don't know what the legal uh, process is there. It would have been nice to know, obviously, what we're getting ourselves into, but uh, we didn't know, no. Uh, and the other thing I want to ask you about is Dalton Smith. Everyone's been asking Eddie Hearn and um, Ben Shalom if they're going to be going in for him, but you guys have got Channel 5 behind you. Would you guys be making an approach for Dalton Smith? No, I think, you know, he, uh, he's a great fighter. Um, I think it's you know it's it's not a situation we'd want to get involved in. It's 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 an open bidding war. It sounds like I haven't heard anything more about that. To be honest, um, it's just not a nice situation to be in. Um, I think that there's an, you know enough really talented fighters in the UK who deserve a chance. Um, we're looking to take on a couple of new recruits uh, who will be announcing in the next few weeks. Um, I think it's why fight over one fighter when we can match. Dalton with Harlem down the down the line, you know, it, it doesn't. It, that that's the reason why people don't work together because they're trying to too busy trying to uh, poach each other's fighters. And with regards to next year, last question for Anissa: How many more shows can we expect from you guys on Channel Five? You know, what's the plan laid out? I mean, um, at least six, at least six, like we have done this year. Anissa, is there anything else you want to add before I let you go? No, it's great to be in Newcastle. It's fucking freezing. I think the last, the last time we spoke was inside where it was like 30 plus, so uh, nice change of scenery. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Nice one, mate. Thank you. Cheers.